Hello and welcome. My name is Janice Gorman. I'm the literacy coach here at Plant High School. Today I want to talk to you about RAF plus S. You might have heard of this before, but they left out the S. And I feel that the S is the essence of this because it is going to be your driving force when you're using this writing strategy. Let's dig in. So what is RAF plus S? So it's an acronym that stands for Role, Audience, Format, Topic, and Strong Verb. It is a writing strategy that is that has been used before, but it might not have been used with the plus S. So what does RAF plus S stand for? It stands for role. So who is the writer? What is the role of the writer? The role can be an actor, an athlete, a student. It really could be anyone. It could even be your dog. Audience, to whom are you writing? You wanna know who your audience is. Could be a judge, a teacher, a school board, your parents. Format, what format should the writing be in? This could be an email, a newspaper, journal. It could be a letter, it can be an essay. It really could be in any format that you desire. In the topic, what are you talking about? And of course, the plus S, strong verb. Why are you writing this? Is your purpose to inform, to argue, persuade, entertain? It's endless. So I really love the plus S because to me, this is the driving force behind your writing and how your voice is shown throughout the raft process. Now, why should we use this? We should use this before you you write just because you're able to think about what you're writing about and ensure that you are including all the parts of the prompt or the topic. And it helps you understand your role as the writer, the audience you will address, the varied formats for writing, the topic you will be writing about, and that strong verb that will drive your voice in your writing. Moving forward, we're gonna look a little bit deeper at an example. So for this example, for the RAF plus S, the role is myself, my audience is my teacher, I'm going to write an email or letter. Email might be better in 2020 because the letter can also be considered a snail mail, but hey, some people still like to receive mail in their mailbox. And the topic is about my failing grade. And my plus S, I really need to persuade my teacher to help me out because I'm obviously failing and I need to improve my grades. Here's another example. The role is a parent. The audience is a mom blog. The format is a paragraph or paragraphs. And the topic is the quarantine experience during COVID-19. And simply, I wanna entertain because we have all have been through enough stress and uncertainty and confusion and we all just need a good laugh. So let's look at this a little bit deeper. We're gonna try it out. So I'm going to use the RAF plus S example of the role as a parent writing to a mom blog about their quarantine experience. So here's an example of a paragraph. 7 a.m. with a foot in my face. Yes, that's right. My two-year-old son managed to take his diaper off, climb out of his crib for the first time, and creep into our bed. Mama, wake up. Mama, cereal milk? Not only do I realize that my child shimmied out of his crib, but he was also a very naked baby. 9 a.m., my coffee is frigid, and I have a stack of emails to answer. My phone is ringing, and the hot dog song is blaring in the background. My child is picking up and eating snacks off the floor. Oh look, the dog threw up. Is it Friday yet? My quarantine experience has been all about survival. All the things I said I would never do as a parent, such as too much screen time, has, has gone out the window. There are no rules during quarantine. Moms, if you're struggling, just know you're doing a great job. So obviously, the purpose was to entertain, especially on this mom blog, who moms might be experiencing similar situations like myself or the writer of this. And if you do not know the hot dog song, I'm so sorry for you, but don't even worry about looking it up. It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, and if you listen to it too much, you might possibly um, be hearing it in the middle of the night when you're wide awake trying to go to sleep. Side note. 
Now, this is the prompt for class that I would love for you to try. The role is a high school student. The audience is a school board. The format is a letter or email. The topic, students are taking a district approved class social media with no access to social media platforms or personal email on the school Wi-Fi. And last but not least, the plus S to persuade. So I want you to think about this and jot down some ideas and go ahead and get started. I hope the RAF plus S strategy will work for you and this video was helpful. Please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe at the bottom here and I will see you soon.